some of those upper body exercises, especially the back is stronger. So uh, I have 15s and 20s here, but if you're a beginner, I'm going to say more like 8s, 10s, maybe a 12 uh, intermediate, probably 10s, 12s, maybe some 15s, and advanced, you can go up from there. So, all right. So, and again, make sure you have your bands for every class. If you don't have them, you can still do the exercises. You'll still get some benefit out of it. So, all right. Let's get going. We're going to start with the warm-up. Twist it out. You're going to twist that opposite elbow to the opposite knee. Good. Three, four, five, seven, eight, ten more, twelve, Fourteen, five more. So today I didn't really explain is an upper body day mostly with cardio drills. At the end we always do some a little bit of legs with the band and some abs. And stop. Take those feet apart, squat it out. Good. It's Monday. I like to make Mondays not as crazy. Usually it's a tiny bit lighter because a lot of times I've noticed with myself and my clients that they are very tired Monday. They just don't have as much energy. So I usually start the week off just a little bit slower, not too slow, but so that people can ease into their week. By Friday, we have a tougher workout. 13, 14. Five more, four, three, last one. Good. All right, kick those legs forward. Nice. We will be getting up and down from the ground a little bit today, but I made the cardios near that closer to the ground, so... Just so you know, you definitely want a mat or a towel or something to lay on. Eight. But there's only a few exercises on the ground until the end. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Almost there. Five more. Four. Three, two, last one. Good. All right, alternating lunges forward. Alternate right, then left. Good. Four. As always, not doing too many legs today, but I still like to warm up the whole body. Eight, nine. Ten more. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. I think I'm getting messages. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> One more. Someone said they love this. Thank you. All right. Now you're going to do push-ups. Beginners, if you're new... Do them on your knees. Intermediate, advanced, like so. Suck that core in. Four. Good. Six. Seven. Eight. Ten. Thirteen. Almost there. Five more. Two more. Good. All right, flip it onto your backs. Crunches. Make sure you have an apple. 
between your chin and neck. Do not pull like this. Ready, lift. Two. And exhale as you come up. You have 10 more, 12, five more, and stop. Good. All right, stand it up. If you'd like, take a quick sip of water because I like to start when we're at the zero, so take 30 seconds, grab some water. Make sure you have your weights in case you just logged on. Um, a variety of weights, a little bit heavier for back and chest. All right, in 20 seconds, we're going to start. Your first one's going to be jumping jacks. So intermediate, advanced, can jump. Beginners, you can do like so. Blast whatever music you want in the background. We're starting in four seconds. Three Two, go. Good. 45 seconds. Keep going. Advance. You could even jump higher if you want to. <laughs> if you need that extra challenge. 15 seconds. You've got it. After this, you're going to need a bit heavier of a dumbbell for a back exercise. And stop. All right. I'm going to take that. Actually, that's my light one. Your right leg forward. Lean into it, and you're going to row. Starting in five. Four, three, two, go. So I have left leg forward, the dumbbells in my right hand. So next time you're going to swap it. So just remember what side you did. Good, slow. Really squeeze that back muscle when you go up. This part's not meant to be fast. Good. 15 seconds, 10, if it's not heavy enough, next time swap it out, if it's too heavy, drop a little bit, and stop, next one is the forward backwards jumps, if you're new and this is too much, run it forward and back, 4, 3, 2, go. Good. You're going to see a lot of the same cardio exercises weekly. Um, there's only so many you can do without machines and things like that. So, Plus, I want to really focus on some of the strength exercises. So, keep going. Push. 15 seconds, and then we're doing the other side. Five. And stop. Grab your heavy weight. I'm taking the right leg forward. It's in my left hand. In five. Ready? And go. Slow. Good. You've got it. 30 seconds. Breathe. Halfway. Fifteen left. Good. Keep going. Almost there. And 
last one. Set that dumbbell off to the side, out of your way, because the next one is mountain climbers. And then you want your weights kind of close by for chest press, so I'm going a little bit lighter. Just make sure they're out of your way. Ready? Go. I'm going diagonal because I don't like to be on the mat when I do these. Good. Sometimes it scrunches up and gets in the way, so. Keep your buns out of the air. Really drive those knees towards you. Beginner, you can tap. Try not to be way up here. Your range of motion is going to be very small. Almost there. Five seconds. And stop. Okay, flip it to your back. Grab your weight. Take your time going back. Next one is a chest press. Like so. Starting now. <laughs> So I'm going a little bit lighter for this one. Good. Slow. You really want to go slow on these strength exercises. So you really feel it. You do it correctly. The cardios, we go fast. Breathe. Good. 15 seconds. Almost there. Five seconds. And stop. Okay, take your time getting up. I would say put them down, stand up, then move them off to the side. Your next one is punch jacks. Starting now. If you can't do that, step it out. Punch, punch. Just really put some energy into it. Good. You got it. Breathe and make sure your core is still sucked in. Halfway. Nice. You're going to need medium weight for the next one. I would do a 15 or 20 for me. So just think based on where you are and stop what fitness level you are. Same positioning, but you're going to the side. These are a little bit harder, so you might have to go lighter. I have mine in my right hand, left leg forward. Ready, go. Remember which side you're doing if you're not doing the same as me. Good. Go slow. And breathe. Try not to twist when you go up. That means it's too heavy. Nice. Halfway. Good, good. This gets a slightly different angle. Looks similar, but it's a little bit different. Good, five seconds. Last one. All right, keep that dumbbell close by for the other side. Your next one is the side to side hops, little hops or step if you need to. Ready, go. Good. You're almost to the end of this round, and you just you can get some water. We have a few more. Keep going. Back and forth. You're halfway. Almost there. Don't give up. Five. 
and stop. Good. Okay, other side. Right leg forward, left arm. It's going out to the side. In eight. Three, two, go. Out to your side. Slow it down. Good. Keep your neck and head in neutral position. You don't want to be here. You don't want to be here. I look up just to check the time here and there. But you want to be looking at a diagonal. Good. You're over halfway. Keep pushing a little bit longer. Next one's going to be on the ground. I won't lie, it's not that fun. And stop. <laughs> it's an in and out. I'm going to go diagonal. So you're here in plank. Jump in, out. Or step in, out. In three, two, go. Good. You want to go back to this flat position after you jump the legs out. No butts in the air. You can go faster if you want. Nice. Keep going. 15 seconds. Five. Do one more for me and stand it up. Actually, lay it down. <laughs> Get your weights for the chest again. We're going to do chest flies. You might have to go a little bit lighter. You're here. Come up. Be very careful with your weights over your head. I do not drop them. If they're too heavy, switch to a lighter weight. Five seconds. And go. After this, you get a break. Good. See how I just curled my, I sucked my core in. Even when I'm doing something like this, you're still working your core. Good. Slight bend in those elbows when you come down. Exhale as you come up. 15 seconds. Almost there. Five, four, three, two. Good. Put those down. Take your time getting up because we're on a break. Get some water. Good job. And we're going to repeat all of that again in a little bit. Take about 40 seconds. Breathe it out. Your first one was jumping jacks. We'll start in 30. <sighs> nice way to start your Monday, right? All right. Jumping jacks, then you need your heavier weight after that. So have it kind of close by, but out of your way. 15 seconds. And we go in five, four, three, two, jump it out. Good. You've got it. Feels better once you're nice and warm and you've taken a water break, right? Sure. <laughs> Halfway. Keep pushing. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, 
two, give me one more, stop. All right, grab that heavy weight, left leg forward, it's in my right arm, you're gonna row it out, so just like this. Starting in three, two, go. Good, slow and steady. Breathe, no twisting. That means it's too heavy for you. Good. You're about halfway. You got it. 15 seconds. The weight's getting heavier, right? <laughs> I'm feeling it. If you're not feeling it, you're not going heavy enough. Five seconds. Okay, stop, put that down. Now it's forward, backwards jumps in 10. Five, four, three, two, go. Forwards, backwards, or running forward, backward. Good. Breathe. Don't hold your breath. Nice. Halfway. Keep going. 15 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and stop. Okay, other side with that weight, same weight. Starting in 10. Five, four, three, two, go. Row it out. Good. They're honking at us. Good job. <laughs> if you're still here with me, Good job. Half, or a little less than halfway. <laughs> I meant to say 30 seconds. Keep going. <laughs> now you're about halfway. Breathe. Ah, I used to hate when I was a runner. And people would add on miles, like, I'm thinking, we're doing three miles. You have five seconds. And then they're like, let's do two more right at the end. That doesn't work for me. And stop. I would get so upset. Your next one is mountain climbers. Have your medium weights close by for the chest exercise. Starting in five, four, three, two. Mountain climbers, go. I'm a planner, I need to know what's coming next. <laughs> so if someone takes me on a run and says, we're only doing a certain number, that's all I'm gonna feel like doing. I have to know what the goal, the end goal is. Halfway. Good. Keep running it out. If you need a break, quickly go like that. Come right back in. Five seconds. And stop. Okay. Flip to your back for the chest press. Get your weights ready. Have them near you. Take a breather. You have five seconds. And go. Up. And down, good. Nice. Slow, this other weight's kind of in my way. So I'm gonna scoot down. Breathe. Good. If your arms are shaking like crazy, be very careful, you might need to drop the weight. Because we don't want you dropping them on you. 10 seconds. Almost there. 
Give me one more. Good. Set them down. Stand on up. Move them to the side. And we are doing jumping jacks with a punch in five. And go. Good. You're over about a little more than halfway with the second round, so you're getting close to the end there. 30 seconds. Good. You can probably tell I used to box because a lot of my exercises have kicks and punches in them. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and stop. Okay, you're gonna do the row out to the side. So you need a medium, medium, slightly heavy weight. In five seconds, left leg forward, right hand has the weight. Ready, go. Out to the side, nice. Breathe. Good. Suck that core in. You're halfway. Make sure you're not speeding through this. Good. 15 seconds. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, and stop. Okay. All right. Your next one is the side to side jumps. Then we're doing the other side row. In five, four, three, two, go. Little different than a ski jump, it's faster. Good. The more you suck in your core, the more you're working it, even though we're jumping. Halfway. Fifteen seconds. You're almost done with the hard parts. Hardest parts. Five. Four. Three, two, and stop. Good. So other side. Right leg forward, dumbbell in the left hand for that side row. Five, four, three, two, go. Out to the side. Nice. If you like getting extra cardio, I'd recommend after this or sometime in the day, doing an elliptical, walking on an incline on the treadmill. If you like to run, run. You can do an extra half an hour. If this isn't enough for you, good, 15 seconds. I have some other strength videos up on Patreon. If you wanna add some more strength ones, there will be more to come soon. There's a 15 minute ab workout if you're not getting enough core and stop. So there's lots of options. All right, in and outs are next. This is the last cardio for today. So get ready in three, two, go. Good. Make sure your buns are out of the air when you go out. Core sucked in. Nice. Halfway. Keep going. You're so close to the end. You just have one more exercise after this. Breathe. Good. Ten seconds. Five. 
Give me two more. Good. All right, you're gonna lay it down for chest flies. So grab those weights, lay it on down. Ah, breathe it out and go. Good, good. I'll show you where this is really, really helps for especially those ladies. I'll show you the area when we stop. So chest is still good for us ladies to do as well. Breathe. 15 seconds. Good, good, keep going, almost there. Three, two, stop. Set those down. Take your time getting up because you're on a break now. Keep one medium weight nearby because we may use it and get some water. Oh yeah, ladies, this is where a lot of the chest exercises help with that little bit of fat we don't like that we sometimes get right here. <laughs> so don't avoid the chest. Breathe, get your bands. We're gonna be on the mat today with these bands. I'm gonna go a little heavier. I may regret it, but I just feel like it today. So my range of motion might not be that far. We're gonna do fire hydrants first, but I'm gonna give you a little bit longer to get your bands, take a little breather, and then we'll get going. So I'll just show you quickly your first one. Let's see if I'm gonna regret this blue band. First one's gonna be out to the side, fire hydrants. Try your best not to lean way to the right. I'm gonna start with the left leg. Ready? And lift it up. Good. Two. Three. Four. Nice. Keep going. Nine. Make sure your core's really sucked in. If you need extra padding, run and get it. Put it under your knee. Thirteen. It can get uncomfortable on that knee. Keep going a little bit more. Breathe. Okay, let's do five more. Five. Four. Two more. Good. All right, other side. So take it out to the right. Ready, lift. Or the other side, whichever one you haven't done. Good. Don't hold your breath. Eight, ten, we're doing twenty-five, thirteen, you don't need to look back at your feet, try to keep your head in neutral position, I wasn't doing that, I'll admit it, so I'm reminding both of us, five more, you don't want to hurt your neck. We're not working our neck right now. Three more. Two. And stop. Okay. Now you're going to take it onto that opposite leg again. Put the band on the arch, but keep it on the other ankle. I'm not going to be able to go that high with this hard band. But you're going to go up and down like a donkey kick. Like you're trying to kick your head. Ready? And go. Very uncomfortable on my knee today, but we're just going to push through it. Good, because this mat is not very thick. <laughs> Five, six, again head in neutral position. I just caught myself trying to look that way. I don't know why. We all have a habit of that sometimes though. Eleven, good, 
14. Woo, I feel this today. 18, if your band's not hard enough, get a tighter one. Five more, if you can't move it enough, switch it out. Four. And if you don't have one, you'll usually still feel these. Okay, switch your feet. So put it on the opposite arch and the other ankle. Ready? Three, two, go. Lift it up. Two. Four. Nice. Six. Wow, I feel that burn in the other leg now. Woo! I wonder if you're feeling it. Eleven, most likely, if you're doing it with me. Thirteen. Squeeze those buns. Sixteen. Almost there. Five more. Four. Good. Three. Two. And stop. Nice. Put it back onto your ankles. So fix it real quick. Unroll it. Take it to your side. I'm going to lay on my side like so. And I'm just going to lift it up and down. This is not going to go very high with this band. But some of you might be able to go a bit higher. Ready? Lift. Good. Three. We're going slow now. Four. It's not a speed race. Even though it burns, keep going slow. Eight. Nine. Good. Ladies, we like getting rid of this part, right? So this one might burn, but keep pushing. Sixteen. 19. Bands are still great for guys, too, so don't just avoid this part. They're still good for strengthening those legs. Two more. And buns. All right, switching sides. I'm going to face towards you, so I'm going on this side, but you can just flip over. Ready? And lift. Good. We're almost done with these legs. Six, eight, nine. I don't know what I was thinking picking this band today. It is burning. But it's good to challenge yourself sometimes. Fifteen, seventeen. Almost there. Keep pushing. Five more. Five, four, three, last one. Good, good. All right, sit it up. Take those bands off. And we're going to start those abs. And then we're going to cool it on down. So you're going to need one medium weight if you want to add the weight. I'm going to show you different variations. You don't need it yet. First, you're going to start with a sit-up with a punch. So you're going to sit up, punch, punch. You might need to put your feet under the couch. Sometimes people have dumbbells and they put their feet under. It's a little harder with these because you need them to be bigger. But there are many ways you can do it. Or you could just crunch. All right, ready? Lift it up, punch, punch. Two. Make sure you keep your feet on the ground, so if you can't, you've got to hook it under something. Five. Twist. Seven. Eight. Nine. Use some force there. Twelve. Thirteen. 14, keep going, breathe, 
two more. And stop. Good. All right. This one you're going to do without weights, but we're going to do it again, and you can add weight, a weight and hold it to challenge yourself. Do not drop it if it's too heavy. Do not use it. All right, but right now we're just going to reach, or your hands can be here. If you have neck issues, ready, lift. Breathe. Four. Six. Nine. Keep that core sucked in. Breathe. Five more. Four. And stop. Good. All right, you're going to grab that medium weight. You can do this without if you're newer. Make sure it's not too heavy and do not drop it on your head. Okay, so you're going to lower the right leg down and up. Holding it up, neck, shoulders off the ground. Good. Two. If it's too much, put your head down and take the dumbbell out. Seven. Eight. Especially if your arms are shaking, do not use the weight. Twelve. Fourteen. Five more. Four. Three. Okay, put your head down for a sec, and then you're going to do the other side. Ready, go. Two. Four. Six. Breathe. Tighten those stomachs up. My neck is hurting, so I'm going to put it down. Thirteen. You feel it a little bit more when your neck and shoulders are up, but you can still get a great workout with your neck down. Two more. And stop. Okay, put your feet down for a second. Next one is the same one we did, but you're going to reach towards your toes. You can do it with or without the weight. Ready? Go. Two. Four. Eight. Eleven. Almost there, guys. Keep going. Fifteen. Two more. And stop. Set that weight off to the side. We're going to go back to those sit-ups with a punch, and then we'll be done with your abs for today. Ready? Lift. Actually, I'm going to give you one more after this. Sorry, I lied. I changed my mind. Four. Six, eight, breathe, ten, twist, you're almost there, fourteen, five more, five, four, Three, two, and stop. Okay, I'm going to face you guys. You can stay the same way. You're going to want a dumbbell if you can handle it. Heels are down, toes are up, twist to one side. If you want to make it more challenging, you may want to do it without the weight, though. You could do it here. I'm going to do it with the weight today. So, ready? Twist only to the right right now. 20 this way. 20 to the left. Four. If you have your feet off and you're twisting all over, then keep them down because that's <laughs> defeating the purpose. Nine. You mostly just want your upper body twisting. Working those obliques. Fourteen. Five more. Four. Three. One more. Other side. Ready? Go. I'm feeling it in those hip flexors, so 
We're definitely going to stretch those out after. Six. Eight. Halfway. You're so close to the end. Then it's time for your reward, your stretching time. Five more. Four. Three. And stop. Great job. You're done with the hard parts. All right, take it onto your back. Pull that right leg in towards your chest and just hold it. Breathe. Now you can close your eyes. Take some deep breaths and relax. Great way to start your morning. Feeling good, getting your workout out of the way. All right, now you're going to twist it to that left side. Look to your right. Unless you pulled your opposite knee in, then do it the other way. Let's see if I crack. Ugh, nope. Okay, pull that left knee in towards your chest and hold it. And breathe. We will be doing a full body workout on Friday. Sometimes I switch it up a little and it's legs. But we're going to do full body. I'm going to repeat one that I did last week, but... Uh, it didn't film correctly, so I'm going to repeat it again. So if you saw it, sorry, it's going to be the same workout. <laughs> Twist to the right, look to the left. Nice. Hold it. I like to give you guys variety, so I switch up the workout slightly, but we still do some of the same exercises so you can get stronger as well. All right, twist right to left, but with slight variations so you don't get bored. All right, now you're going to cross your right foot over your left knee, grab the back of the left leg and pull it in. And for an extra stretch, push that right leg out with your elbow. Woo, I feel that. Just hold it. Good. And if you don't have time to stretch right now with us, please stretch later in the day. Otherwise, you're going to get tight and you're going to get injuries. All right, switch sides. Eventually, I will be filming a stretching video, so and then you'll be able to do that if you can't stick stay for the stretches on the Patreon channel. All right, rock it forward and back and sit up. I'm going to face you, take your legs straight, reaching for your toes, good, hold it there, you got it, good, just a little bit longer, All right, bring the bottoms of your feet together and press those legs down with your elbows. Good, keep your back as straight as you can. I always rock into position and then I stop. <laughs> Good, hold it a little bit more. All right, cross your right foot over your left leg and twist, hook your arm around that right knee and twist to the right side. 
We're almost done. Good, good. And switch opposite side. Then we're just going to quickly stretch those arms and you will be on your way to start your day. All right, cross those feet however feels comfortable for you. Bring that right arm across your chest and hold it. Good, and switch it out. These I don't always hold quite as long, maybe 15, 20 seconds, but you can do 30. All right, right arm behind your head, press that elbow down. And switch. Good. All right, release those arms. We're going to take a couple of deep breaths in. Close your eyes. Deep breath in. And out. One more. Deep breath in. And out. Nice job. Thanks for joining me. I'll be back for another live Friday around 8.30, right after Jay's class. Uh, if you're looking for more personalized sessions, reach out to me because I also do one-on-one. -on -one. Sometimes we have specific needs that classes like this aren't going to get you there. So reach out to me and have a great day. Thank you for joining me. Bye.